Hi, I'm Anna Hilberry with National Bank Financial. It's June 26, 2019. Till recently, property prices in Vancouver have skyrocketed. But if this is your only asset, a house in Vancouver, how are you going to finance your future? You may find yourself land rich and cash poor. It's a nice problem to have and you do have options. A couple of days ago, I ran into a friend of mine. She told me that as a result of her mother's estate, about five years ago, she had inherited a four bedroom home in a very desirable neighborhood in Vancouver. She was currently living there with her son and her daughter. Yet, despite this large asset, which was worth over two and a half million dollars, she found herself strapped for cash. She was having a hard time making ends meet. The property taxes kept increasing year over year and the maintenance costs on such a large home were eating her up. Her son had just recently moved out to university and her daughter was about to. I told her that she did have some options. She didn't have to continue to work overtime shifts just to make ends meet. When her children eventually decided to move out to start their own future, my friend could consider selling the family home, buying a smaller apartment, which is probably easier for her to look after anyway, taking the rest of the assets and investing them in a balanced portfolio. At today's rates, she could earn around 3% between interest and dividend yield. Now, 3% may not sound like a lot of money, but on about $2 million, that amounts to around $60,000 a year, and there will be capital appreciation over time. But if she can school herself to live just off of the income, and she adds in, eventually, old age security and Canada Pension Plan, and then she gets capital appreciation on top of that, she'll be just fine. And she may even be able to leave a sizable estate for her own children. If you find yourself in a similar situation and you have questions or concerns and you want to reach out to me, I'd be happy to talk to you. I'm Anna Hillberry. Thank you for listening.